Hello, beautiful souls. This is saying to me, more importantly, more, not even more importantly, but capitalizing and even more than the King of Swords. This is saying that this is somebody that you're going to be able to go long term with. Now, this is the person that you've been looking to build with, looking to establish with. We're transforming light to dark with the color wheel in between, representing the energetic shift going from this constant sadness, constant night. We don't even know if this is night or day. This is spirit, this three of pentacles. It goes from pain to partnership. This is very clear messaging here, but it also is saying, look, it goes from chaos to love to pure harmony. So Divine Masculine is painting a picture with the visual of works, again, keeping us in the 13 energy, partnership, rebalancing, and in the spirit. Okay, I'm ready. What were you going to say? I'm not touching that yet. We're going to go here. Whoa, Queen of Pentacles, and she is pregnant. She's super pregnant. She's looking to the future. We have this image of the wheel. Okay, Divine Masculine, I had a vision of you. I had a vision of us, the Nine of Cups, the dream. I dreamed that you were beautiful and glowing, and I knew that I had put something inside you, because I recognized that glow, that spirit, that twinkle as my own. And inside, I was just so drawn to you. But it was almost like you were there, just a priestess, like a goddess, like a statue existing in the dream. But I was so drawn because there was life in you, and there was color, and the world was just different. And even though so often I thought of heartache and heartbreak and pain when I thought of you, in that moment, all I could see was the life, the love. And the more I looked, the more I had that clear picture in my mind of what we were meant to do, that we were different, that I was never going to be able to understand you. I was never going to be able to make sense of the shape of you. And yet, in the spirit, I didn't need to because I could see that you just fit with me. And in this moment, I was reminded of that. And it was as if suddenly I just knew something that I had never even thought or considered before its fact. And suddenly I knew where I was in the world. And I saw you, but I didn't see you. You weren't moving. You weren't shifting. And yet, there was this energy, there was this almost like a kaleidoscope of color and passion and excitement and intensity that I, I just, all I could do was stare. And I felt this swelling of love welling up inside me. And I was torn because it made me feel almost frightened with how intense it was. And yet I knew this was where I was supposed to be, and what was supposed to come out of you. Somehow, it also would never leave you, and it never left me. And I realized that I was looking at myself when I was looking at you. I was looking at everything I had ever done, or thought of, or heard. It was this perfect reflection. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe. My beloved love, and yet, all I could feel was the chaos. And it became so overwhelming that I almost wanted to run. I almost wanted to run. But then I remembered you. And something in me was worried that if I ran in that moment and left you in this state of transforming and just had you sit in that intensity, that I could never return. I would never be safe. I would always think of you every time anything anything ever happened that shook me like this. I would think of you, and I would know that I was a coward. And I would know that all the things that I hated about myself were true. And suddenly, it wasn't that I just wanted to prove myself. I didn't want you to go through what I had gone through. I never wanted to be the cause of why you even experienced anything bad in the first place but I definitely didn't want you to feel abandoned and alone like I have. And it was then that I no longer saw you in that state. And the intensity in me that was overwhelming me to the point where I wanted to run just shifted like that into pure peace. 
and instead, I saw you for your strength, and I saw you for your power. And I realized that I was so intimidated by the you and me, and the me and you, even there, I was shocked, and I was scared. But I wasn't scared anymore. It was just, it was exactly what I needed to see in that moment. I just needed to see you again. And even though you didn't look like a perfect goddess, stone statue, it took my breath away, the way you moved. And it was so eerie because in the moment, I knew I was dreaming. It was at that moment where I snapped out of it, but I didn't wake up. And the kiss, the look of love, the embrace. I can't explain it, but it was divine. And suddenly, so was I. And the light that I saw in you and in me, suddenly, it was all around us. And it was us. And it was perfect. And we were perfect. And we transformed. And it just made sense. And I knew in that moment I was powerless to you. I didn't run because you were there. This might have been delivered in the last couple of days, maybe even weeks. I don't know about that though, but it probably came in recently. They couldn't get through to you. There's a change coming. Okay, what's the change? Wow, wow, we've got the Hierophant. Now we have temperance. We've got a change from a bird, a black bird with a key, to a very large. I think this would be like a sandhill crane or a heron. I don't know birds, but it's crying tears only to make the flame bigger, colorful. What creates a fire? Oh, I don't know. A lightning strike definitely can if you know anything about that. But to me, the one plus four is five, and asking that question of what's the change, seeing this stark contrast in color, size, every single item, it's to me. This says there is a new change coming to the state of balance in the relationship. Many of you have heard me talk about the number four and the four of wands, and then I often will talk about the number 13 or the number 31. That one and three energy. From Divine Muscular. Tight, yes, if you believe. 